Hello, Ooh, Mercy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me, all right. How you oh doing? Come on, you, you cannot run from this. You cannot run from this. I've got... My, what a lovely place you got. Oh, thank you. Mm. Before I say anything, you are fine. Thank you. No, I, I see you on social media. I see you at events. <laughs> I've had a, a couple of opportunities where we passed each other and all, oh, but looking at you up close, personal, <laughs> From eyes, nose, dentition. Oh my God! Kuku, finish me, please. Please, I, I just please, want the camera wash, to just ravage me. her personality stop right now. Me, please. Just, just finish me right now. Anyways, I love oh your God. apartment. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. Thank so, you. on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you at having a quickie with the quickie master? Excited, ko. Excited me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, two. <laughs> two. I'm, I'm not excited. Come on, I'm not a two minutes man now. Come on. It's a quickie, but it's not two minutes. Come on. Come on, you just busted my house. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not excited. Oh my God. Okay. You are properly known as Messi AK, okay? you know introductions. But are there other names people know you by? Yes, my name is Messi AK, aka Queen of Highlight. Lamborghini, mm. one and only. Mm -hmm. Their mother. Uh -huh. You didn't add their father. <laughs> their father. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you an early bird or a night crawler? I'm a night crawler. Hmm. Night crawler. Why is that? Yeah. I I don't sleep early. You know, I'm still. Ch I don't sleep early. Come on, I'm still chasing the bag. I'm still very poor, so why should I be sleeping early? I yeah. should be out there making money, you know, money coming into my account every second, every minute. So who sleeps early? Come on, be good. Don't sleep early. If, so why should I sleep early? If you call your status very poor, <laughs> I'd like to see what, what you look like when you're very rich. <clears throat> mm, okay. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Maybe we'll have another quickie session when that time comes, eh? I snow me on you. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a run through of what your typical day looks like. Um. My typical day, wake up, pray, come on, everybody knows I'm very spiritual, I love God. I don't, I don't miss praying, I pray every morning. In fact, I wake up every 6.30 a.m. because I have 7 o'clock prayer and SPPD. I do that every day of my life, Monday to Saturday, you know, Monday to Friday. Then after that, I have my shower, brush my teeth, have breakfast, check my mails, sort out things. If I have set, I go for my set. If I don't, sometimes I just stay at home to avoid problem and see finish. All right. <laughs> now, aside money, mm, uh, mm, mm, what gives you real genuine joy? He said aside money. Money. Mm, uh, mm, mm. Why? Why? Why are you putting money aside? Like, are you, are we, are we, are we, why? Why aside something that makes me happy? Aside money is still money. <laughs> Anything else? Um, aside money, what makes me... Like deep down real deep happiness. Deep down. Um, just the, the sense of fulfillment. Like, I feel like when I just remember where I am right now and where I used to be, yeah, that makes me genuinely happy that I'm not where I used to be. And where was that? Like where you grew up? In the ghetto. Ghetto? Yeah. You don't look like some girl from the ghetto. <laughs> e? Okay, show me one ghetto side of you that we've not seen before. Mm. <sighs> one ghetto side of me. Hey, person, I'll chop money, come forget levels. Yeah, I started from... Anyways, one ghetto side of me. Hey. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I knew I grew up in the ghetto, but it's not in me now. Uh, I've, uh, please leave so, the so ghetto. So we can't even patronize a thug life side of you. Is that what you're saying? Please leave the ghetto in the ghetto, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Your favorite memory as a kid? Um, my favorite memory as a kid. Um, when you were stealing ice cream? No, ice cream. Car. Where you see ice cream? I guess maybe growing up with my brothers running around, oh, playing, you know, when it's raining, me and my brothers were always in the rain playing football. I, yeah, I think that's one of my favorite wow. childhood memory. Most embarrassing moments as a kid? <laughs> um, most embarrassing moment as a kid? I think one time that my, one of my auntie came back home and then she lives in Potako, so whenever she's back, um, she always take one of um, her, her siblings, you know, child or children. So that time, me, yeah, I wanted to go to Potako because my cousins they've told me how rosy it is in Potako. So mm -hmm. that day, she came back. They were having a meeting. I packed my bag, and then my mom came. 
say, where are you going? I said, I'm going to black I started crying. And she flogged the head out of me. Oh boy. I'm telling like you. Like she beat you black and blue. She beats me and no one goes She instilled the fear of God if in me. If I hear for I say, what? Because because they were still having me that I don't pack with nonsense, constant forget. They made that my aunt come out. So I can't be going to Puerto <laughs> Now, who is that one person you can't go a day without speaking to? <laughs> my boyfriend. Tell us his name. My man, my man. Tell us his name. <laughs> no way. So you don't tell us his name. Uh, <clears throat> All right, three things people don't know about you. Um, three things people don't know about me. Three things people don't know about me. Okay. Um, one, people don't know that I'm a very scary person. Like, you know, I get scared easily. I hate darkness. You, you get scared of the dark easily. I get scared of the dark. You easily. with all your ginger and para. I can't sleep without lights on. Wow. Yeah. So how did you grow up in Nigeria? <laughs> lamp now. Have you forgotten the lamp? No the be lantern. Lie. No be lie. <laughs> And um, I feel like they know my life. I feel like people really know everything. That's not possible. Like, there's got to be things that. So if I now tell you the things people don't know about me, what makes it. What? That means they know everything about me. Because but... they were selling your market. <laughs> okay. Oh, many things people don't know. I think it's my little secret, so there's no need of seeing them. What? What? They already know. Okay, I don't like money. You don't like money? Mm hmm. Okay. People don't know I don't like money. Now, please, for the records, um, <laughs> she's meant to be honest with us because um, if I you like, know... It's, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, mm. please, I like money. Okay. And I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up. One person you wish you could see right now. One person I wish I could see right now, my dad. My late dad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Big brother. An experience or a mistake, and why? <laughs> Big Brother is an experience. Yeah, apart from the thing that comes with it, apart from the opportunity, it's still like an eye opener, you know, for you. Big Brother is just a huge platform. Like, come on, without Big Brother, I won't be here today. But there are also lessons that I learned from, you know, from first season and the second season. And yeah, that's just what makes it interesting. Would you have ever thought you would be this famous seven years ago? Honestly speaking, growing up, I've always wanted to be famous. I wanted to... I've tried acting when I was small. You know when those movie people used to come to the village or something, yeah. just run out and you're doing things? There's one movie I did one time. With and they, and let me guess, they use it for ritual. They don't reach me. They don't use me for ritual. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like a work of art. Yeah. So I've always wanted to be famous, but I didn't know I would ever be famous like it's i wanted to be famous but i didn't know how until i auditioned for big brother come on i auditioned four times starts to show you that wow. I, I wanted to be famous that's interesting <laughs> Mercy! Uh, but before we carry on what's with the faceless portraits behind you um these faceless portraits like the saying no face, no case. No face. No case. No face, no case. I thought you said no face, no kiss. I'm like, how am I no, supposed to no get a kiss face, with no face? No case. It's just like what you don't put out or what people don't know about you. Like this. You don't know what is going on. It's like a mask. So There's so, so many things going. So it's more like what you don't put out, people can't tell. Yes, people can't tell and people can use it against you. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. It's just like no face, no case. It's just a simple. Do you want something? I'm famish right now. You want water? You want tobacco? You want okra? Oh my, you're <laughs> such a mind reader. <laughs> coming, coming, coming. Well, hey, anyways. Okay, I have chocolates and I have. I'm sorry. Come over here. Um, I'm sorry. I really don't. I'm sorry. I really don't eat like that. So I just love to nibble on things. I love nibbling on food. So I'm sorry. Uh. I get something. So here I have chocolates and I have um, cookies. I have cookies. Yeah. Oh. 
my goodness. My, oof, I better help so, you out with this. <laughs> so my mom sent this, it's grilled chicken. Your mom sent this? Yes, it's local chicken. So okay. she grilled it and sent it down. And I have palm wine. Oh my. And I have water for you. Okay. And in here I have Guinness in case you want to mess it up. Oh man. Yes, you asked about my ghetto pan, right? Yeah. I think. Already I knew where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. No, you go first. I should you're, go first. Yes, right? you're my mm. guest. Mm. I'm having a good time. If you're watching this right now, I'm having a good time and you guys are missing out big time. All right, on to the next one. What part of your life do you consider as still private? Mm, I think my... I think my dating life. Your dating life? Mm -hmm. You want to tell us about it? Yeah. I'm trying to word it very well so that... <laughs> so yeah, I think I've met some quiet, you know number of mistakes with my dating life you know putting out everything there but of lately i can say yeah um this is i think this part of my life is still very private okay in 2024 mm -hmm. limelight or spotlight i think spotlight why because i feel like i'm i feel like i'm different i feel like i don't follow the crowd i feel like i'm a trendsetter i feel like i not like I feel like I know I, I lead and others follow. I'm not in I'm not in a line, I'm not in a queue, I'm not in you know, I'm not in a bus. So I feel like um a place in my life that I single myself out. I do things and others follow. That's it. What's your honest take on Nigerian celebrities? Um I think Nigerian celebrities. Uh, Nigerian celebrities are doing really good but we are really 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 you know in a form of pressure I feel like we are pressurized by people around us by you know just our environment and yeah I think just I feel like Nigerian celebrities are really under pressure how do you handle trolls <clears throat> how do I handle trolls well <laughs> I knew this one would get your attention. <laughs> I'm so good. Because, God. So I'll give you two, you know, two parts of it. One part before, when I didn't know what I know now. I, I used to handle trolls in a very different way. I didn't used to, like, apply, you know, wisdom to them. Because sometimes, then I used to, oh, God, go, you know, bomba to bomba with them. If you're crazy, I'm more crazy give me I give you back you know gospels but of lately the new mercy I think uh, they don't even want a response sometimes because sometimes I'm a very petty person so sometimes I just go back to like when when I'm being trolled or when I'm there I just go and click on the person's page and I just when I look at it I'm like if I were you I would be mad too and that and I've given myself what I what I want to once, once I say if I were you oh yeah I'll be mad too and that's the only answer I need for myself, not for them. I just let it go. Like, there's no need to even, you know, respond to truth. I just ignore them. My ignore game is on 1,000. In fact, it's on... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, on, it's on another level. You know, you know right, technically speaking, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost not hearing you right now because I'm enjoying this date you and I have. Yeah. You guys are missing mm, the time. If anybody get a response from me, you must see, uh, you must, I must, I must think, I must think you are something. I must think you are, you are, you are, you are that girl or you are that boy. Like you're worth the time, Yeah, right? you're worth the time. If not, uh -uh, mm. you're not, just move, move along. Think of the fact that these guys, like these, um, smoked um, chicken or what it is, mm -hmm. came all the way from your home state, Emo states, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's Oweri really like anyways? Mm, right now, I don't know, I haven't been there since two years. That's since I buried my dad. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just feel a type of way. There's this energy I get from going to Oweri really because I just don't want those memories back. I don't want to go there and not having somebody to call me Chenyawa, you know, and so I, I don't know. I don't know where it's hot. Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Oh, sure, sure. Sorry. Okay, I'll be coming soon. Coming soon? Yes. But I haven't I'm... even started. Why are you coming? <laughs> I need to go get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go take what I want. I have a dinner, so I want to get ready, and I don't even know what to wear. 
That's why the Quickie Master is here. I'll help you out. <laughs> Which Quickie Master? Of course, it's part of my job description. Didn't you? you Did you get the memo? Of course. Okay, let's go. Let's do it, darling. <laughs> So let me show you what. Well, watch your step, please. Oh, certainly. Yeah. So this is where all the magic happens. Oh, yeah. Come in. Um. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, this is my closet. This is where I, I get, I get, you know. So what kind of dinner is it? Is it romantic? Is it formal? <laughs> yeah, it's a romantic dinner mm. date with my man. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, I, I just want to catch this guy. I strangling. know. <laughs> but I like, I like your walk-in closet. Thank I think you. it is fabulous. My, yeah, thank the you. shoe section, the As bag. This, this, uh, this is the shoe session, and like, and here I have my glasses, and perfumes. So um, I don't know. I don't even know what to wear, but I think I want to look like a chick. So I'm just gonna go with maybe a pink shoe. Okay. And I'm just gonna pink. I don't know. Pink. If you get to invite one person to a function. Yeah. Who would that be and why? Um, if I get to invite one person to a function, who would that be and why? Uh, who would that be? Who would that be? Maybe my sister. I invite my sister. And because she's going to like, you know, she will take care of me. She will have my back. She will just look after me because, you know, going for an event, you need somebody to. Mm. Yeah, my sister. I just like to. I think that question was a little too easy. Oh, yeah? If you enjoy. Do you like this? Uh, no. Nah, you look like a good girl in that. Okay. I want you to be ravishingly edible. Okay. What about this? Oh, my. Set me on fire. This is wicked. Do you like But it? nah. Oh. <laughs> if you get to invite one person to a function. Okay. And you know that this, if they are late, you get ten million dollars. Who are you inviting? Oh my God, my friend Mimi. Mimi is a late, a satisfied late comer. So I will invite Mimi, and the rest of that we are going to win the term because she she will never get that if the party is over. Okay, Mimi, if you heard this, <laughs> God be with you. Okay, now let's reverse it. If the person gets there on time, you get ten million dollars. If the person gets there on time, I'll get him learning. I'll invite my friend CY. CY is always early. CY for love, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your BBN experience both times. Hmm. <laughs> my BBN experience, oh my god. Okay, the first time I went into the house and it was all, you know, it was all cute, lovely people. Um I played the game and I won the show. And I thought, okay, uh, I thought it was all cute. Then I went back for the second time. I found out that people were allergic to winners. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Allergic to winners, to like, okay, she has that, she can't have it again. She has this, she can't have it again. That's why I did not win for the second time. Are you serious? Because they are allergic to winners. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because they feel like, oh, you, you, you got that. You shouldn't get it again. Oh, you. She's already rich. Why? Why should? Let others give others chance. Are you for real? Oh my God! This second experience, I loved it. I will not even take anything away from it because he made me just see people for who they truly are. You know, when people are in the position to just like, for you to see who they really are. It can only be God's doing because yeah. without this second experience, I would not know a lot of things. Like, I didn't know that it's a crime to want to win again. I didn't know it's a crime to just, you know. But anyways, you know, I'm still a winner. Come on, honey. What's the most deceitful thing you've ever heard? There is nothing like friend enemies. That's a lie. Nothing like? Friend enemies. Enemies. Yes, friend enemies. Okay, not so, like frenemies. Yes, nothing like friend enemies. Mm. Mm. So you're either a friend or an enemy? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to be wrapping up this cookie session with one last question. Okay. But then, it is a game. 
First things first, what's the most expensive thing in this place? Oh my god, what's the most expensive thing? The most expensive things in this place. Okay, my wristwatches are not here. My wristwatches are in my safe. I could I would say my backing. My backing. Yeah, my Hermes Birkin. Your Hermes Birkin? Yeah. Okay, um, could you please remind me of the worth of that bag? Okay, I got this for for this, yeah. I got this then for twenty-eight thousand okay. dollars. Okay. And for this, I got this for thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay. I think I got this for like about twenty-eight thousand dollars too. And so that means technically speaking, the most expensive one is the one right in the middle. Yes, this one. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay, can I have the bag just in case then? <laughs> Real quick, <laughs> just bring it this way. Thank you very much. Oh Thank you God. very much. Please, please, hand. Let, let, time, let, time is. Let, time let, is. Let, let me touch your palm first. You have to handle it with care. Oh, it's soft enough. I, of course, I'm the picky <laughs> master. My hands are always soft. Now this bag is going home with me, so I'm going to give you another chance. Ten words I can get from the word teacher in one minute. Time starts um, now. T, teach, each, her. There's no each. There's each. You have missed it. There's each. There's each in the middle. What is the each? E A C H. Okay, each. Okay. Each. Oh, don't mind me. You put gear now. There's each. <laughs> okay. And there is her. And there is chair. There's no chair. <laughs> you have, you have missed it, ladies and gentlemen. My time. As is... you can see, oh. I just won myself a nice Birkin bag. <laughs> this thing is thirty-two thousand dollars, as you can see. <laughs> we just made some extra dollar money on the show. They play. That's what we do. They play. Right, have your you. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Are, you know I love. You know I are, love you, right? See, don't let me remove. Don't uh -uh. let me. Don't let me remove her first. Uh -uh. You remove slip also. See, I used to do, see. I, I don't. Hey, 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 you're, you're taking this thing too far now. This thing is getting out of hand. It's, no, it's just. It's, just it, it, it's. I, I thought you were some lady, gentle lady, Let classy. Uh, you see there. You see there. Uh, okay, you know what? I think we should get out of uh, here now. You thank, see there. Thank you very Which much. Lady? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Pasta. No, no, no. No, no, no. Obviously, love a man. Uh, I love a man. Like I said, I told you before, I said I love love. Mm. Uh, uh, madam, did you come to patronize or you're here to be employed? Mm.